All right, here we go. Everybody's got a calculator out. Everybody's ready? We are going to do this practice quiz 7.6. Understanding that it has more on it that's on than is on the actual quiz tomorrow. But we're kind of also reviewing these last couple days, some of our main concepts. So we have some more of them in here. So here we go. Number one, four cards. By the way, if your name is on here, when do I see you again? Thursday? If your name is on here, you get it paid up on Thursday or you're gonna get it attention. I, I gotta erase some of this stuff. All right, so four cards are dealt from a standard deck. What's the probability that there will be exactly two queens? So I'm gonna have a four card hand and I want exactly two queens. And this is a probability question, which means it's going to have a denominator. What is the denominator going to be? Not 52, 52C4. Why is it 52C4? Four cards. The denominator gets the total. How many total cards are there in the deck? 52. How many are you picking? Four. 52C4 is your denominator. Okay? Now, what do I want in the numerator? I need to get exactly two queens. So what does that mean? That means I have to get two queens and then two of something else? Two other cards? So how many queens in the deck? Four. Four. How many do I want? Two. Here we go. There are my two queens. Now notice I put a time sign because I want two queens and two other cards. And when I say and, it's a multiply. Now, how many other cards are there in the deck that are not queens? 48. 48. Right, process that, 48. 52 cards, four of them are queens. So there's 48 that aren't queens. Of those 48, how, of those 48, how many am I picking? Two. So my numerator is two out of the queen pile and two out of the not queen pile. And then I'm gonna divide by 52 C4. All right, so we're gonna round it off to the 10,000th or make it a fraction. Sometimes these things um, can be fractions. go to a fraction. I have an old calculator. Some of your new ones might. What decimal did you get? Point, 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 oh, two, five. Point, oh, two, Because yeah. it's 49.99 or whatever. So that would round off to 50. There on the end. All right. Number two. There are 18 juniors and five seniors. So 18 juniors, five seniors in the math club. I'm going to choose six out of this group. So I'm taking six kids out of that group. Assuming that everybody's equally eligible, how many different teams containing three juniors and three seniors are there? How many, this is not probability, this is how many different teams that have three juniors and three seniors, okay? So I, just like a deck of cards, only now instead of clubs and diamonds, I've got juniors and seniors, okay? I want three of each. So what's that look like for juniors? How many juniors are there? 18. How many am I picking? Okay, when you are picking from a group, and order doesn't matter, you use your combinations. There are 18 juniors and I'm going to choose three of them. Just like 
There were four queens and I picked two of them. It's exactly the same concept. And I need three seniors. What's that gonna look like? Five, two, three. Now don't divide by anything because this is not probability. Do you see that? If it were probability, I would have a division, but it's not. It's just how many. I'm just gonna type that in, that's gonna be the answer. aces in the deck. So you're either going to get three aces or, and notice, what did I put there? Because that's what I do when it's or, right? Three aces or four aces. Now again, this is not a probability, okay? So there's no fraction. I'm just doing what would normally be the numerator of a probability problem. How many ways can I get three aces? So here's my deck of cards. I've split it into two piles. Here's the aces, here's the not aces. Okay? How many are in the ace pile? Four. How many am I choosing? Three. How many are in the not ace pile? 48. How many am I picking? One. Oh, two. It's a five card hand, right? So there's four aces and I'm choosing three. So 48C2, very, very good, Emmett. Right. Okay, you guys need to engage your brains. There are 52 cards in the deck. Four of them are aces, so 48 of them aren't aces. If you want exactly three aces, then you're taking three out of the four and two out of the 48. This is your quiz next time. Now, that takes care of three aces. That's what it looks like if you're getting three aces. What does it look like if you're getting four aces? Four C4, because you want four, there's four aces, you want all four of them. And okay, it's a five card hand. Four more aces. What's the other one? Not an ace. How many of those cards are there? 48. And you want one of them. When you make your hand in this problem, you have aces and you have other cards. There's four aces to choose from, 48 other cards to choose from. So if I want three aces, I'm taking three out of the four and two out of the others. If I want four aces, I'm taking four out of the four and one out of the others. Back to 
problem number two, which is this where we have the juniors and the seniors. And we are gonna try to figure out what is the probability of choosing a committee made up of all juniors? Okay, so remember in the problem, we have 18 juniors and five seniors, and we're choosing six. Okay. So now this is a probability question. What's the probability that it will be all juniors? I heard somebody say 18C6 on the top. Isn't that how we get six juniors? That's it. Now this is probability though, so I need a bottom. What goes on the bottom? Twenty-three. C. C. Six. six. Exactly. Boys and girls, what always goes on the bottom of a probability question? The total. How many total people are there? Six. Or twenty-three. Twenty-three. How many am I picking? Six. That's your denominator. Now why is the numerator only an 18? Because I only want juniors, right? I can only pick from the junior pile. decimal on this one. So I guess me I got 0.1839 and fractionally I got 884 over 4807. Did I match that? Yeah. Alright, what's on the back? shading this one has numbers but what do you think might be a good way to set it up <coughs> drug circles yeah Venn diagram yeah Venn diagram start with a section that we know completely. So you don't start with this because that says the probability of the A ball is 0.8. There's two sections there, right? I don't know what they are, so I can't put the 0.8 in there. But this is a section all by itself. This says we like apples and bananas. Well, if we like apples and bananas, we're here, aren't we? Now I can fill in the rest of this, right? Because the whole, everybody who likes apples is 0.8. So this has got to be 0.4. And everybody who likes bananas is point, Well, everybody who likes bananas is 0.6. So this has to be 0.2. Is that right? Now what do those add up to? One? What does that mean? It means there's nobody out here who doesn't like apples and bananas, or bananas, right? Everybody likes either apples or bananas in this problem, because there's nothing left over. 40, 40, and 20 makes 100. That's everybody. Got it? So now let's answer the question. What does this mean? If I think of A as apples and B as bananas, what does that mean, the probability of what? not liking apples, okay? In your picture, where are the people who don't like apples? Right here, right? Aren't these the only people who don't like apples? So 
so that would be 0.2. Now, if you were shading that, you would shade everything except this circle, including the outside, right? I don't worry about the outside in this particular problem because it's zero, right? There's nobody out here. What does that mean? Mm. Not and. You like apples or bananas? Now, you might like them both, but you don't have to like them both. I like apples or bananas. Everybody in this problem likes one or the other, right? Everybody. So that probability is one. Please don't say 100 unless you put a percent sign after it, right? All right, what does this mean? These are the people that what? Don't like apples and they don't like bananas. Where are they? Yeah, they're out here. We don't have any of those. All of our other problems have had something there. So we've done lots where we've had a number out there. Don't have to have a number out there. This one didn't. Now what does this say? Apples, but not bananas. So who are the people, or what's the number for the people who like apples, but not bananas? Right here? There are 57 students in a pool. So here's our box of 57 students. Um, 30 like breaststroke, 36 like freestyle, and eight hate swimming. Does that picture make sense to you? because they don't care for swimming. How many are inside the circles then? 49? So you have room for 49 people, right? How many votes did you get when you started talking to people? 66. You only have room for 49 people. So some of them voted more than once, right? So how many voted more than once? 17. So there's 17 people right here in the middle. What does that mean this section is? 13, because that circle has to add up to 30. What does it mean this is? Because that circle has to add up to 36. And now we can answer the question, which is, how many like only breaststroke? 13. Only breaststroke would be 13 <coughs> students. <coughs> right? All right, so uh, next time I see you, we have a quiz that will be shorter than this, but that's the kind of problems on it. So now we're going to look at our notes. Number one, are we ready for E? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 